Hey guys, M13 here, and I'm going to try to update this today. Oh, you crashed over a double yellow. Oh no, guys, you had to call, call the SWAT team. Um, what was I going to... One sec, I'm having fun here. Hold on for a minute. I'm having fun. Um... Yeah, I went to the racetrack the other day, and uh, I brought a friend, and he took some pictures, and it was it was it was nice because I finally I've only I only I had one picture. Oh no, it wasn't even a picture. I think I had I got one picture of me getting my knee down at the racetrack, and uh, like I haven't done it once. I just only had one picture of it. But that picture, I'm pretty sure, wasn't a picture. It was a video. There was a guy on a corner, and he was using one of my old cameras, which is low resolution. And he, he and, and when I came around the corner, I was like, my knee was down. And then, uh, and then I took that video, and I like just fr did did a freeze frame on, on one of the frames, and, and made that into a little picture. But it's really low resolution. And uh, yeah, so I went to the racetrack the other day, and I brought a friend, and I, I gave him my good camera, and it's uh, it's a nine megapixel, nine megapixel camera. But it, you know, it's a nine megapixel with a really good lens. It's not oh crap. <laughs> it's like oh crap. It's starting to rain. That's all I need, man. Oh yeah. Oh, this is good. Well, as we can see. <laughs> It's not going to rain for long because it's just this one cloud, this this bastard right here that's raining, and then it's blue sky, blue sky, cloudy over there. But it's just a spring shower. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> this rain. Oh, racetrack, yeah. So I brought a friend, and I, I got a. It's, it's a good camera. It's like a six hundred dollar camera. Um, and it's, it's not a compact, it's like a bigger one. So he took, he, he got a picture. What is this guy doing, man? Like, you're driving a Mitsubishi, what is this? You're driving a Lancer and you're coming to like a full stop on a Lancer with like all tinted windows, kind of aggressive looking, and you're like full stop on a corner. So, I, yeah, so yeah, I was at the racetrack, and then he, he was, he, he, he had this camera, which is fairly good, and he got some pictures of me uh, taking corners, and I, I got my knee down in, in, a, in a, a few of them, and uh, it's, it, it's really good for your confidence, it's really good for the learning learning process, I, 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 I highly recommend it for, for riders that are trying to improve. Uh, find a corner, even even if it's a corner like this or whatever, and then just get a friend to to hang out near the corner and take pictures of you, and then take the corner multiple times, and then you can look at those pictures when you get home and see what you're doing right or see what you're doing wrong. Um, the pictures like like you can see uh and you can t take those pictures and compare it to like you know some guy in Moto GP or whatever some other guy who's not even that extreme but that guy's doing well ah this car man you, you, don't you love how the car just went like like some old guy he went fully in the scooter lane just or the motorcycle lane just as we reached the corner he's just like okay here's a corner let's leave the road and ride in the scooter lane for it for the entire thing and some of you are thinking, maybe he just wanted to let you go by. No, no. If there was no bikes whatsoever behind him, he still would have done the exact same thing. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, um, the, yeah, because you can look at the pictures and you can compare it to someone who rides more aggressively than yourself or someone with more skill than yourself. Not necessarily a MotoGP racer, which is kind of extreme, but just someone with a higher skill level than yourself. And you can uh, compare the body positioning, and you can like take note. Okay, what's my left foot doing? What's my right foot doing? Where's my shoulders? Is my head? You know, and it's it's it, it really helps. Uh, even with me, and I've been riding for a long time. I, I was looking at the pictures. And one of the one of the things was not even not even so much the fact I could see what I could I was doing wrong. It was the, also the fact that I could see that what I was doing 
was right. Like, I, I could look at the pictures and see, hmm, that's impressive. And then that gives me more confidence. And then when I'm on a corner, I can be like, okay, I'm just going to take this corner like I was in those pictures. And then my confidence rises a lot. So by looking at the pic, because, for example, with left hand, I'm comfortable with right hand turns. But with left hand turns, I'm, I'm not comfortable for some reason. And then I was looking at the pictures of me taking left hand turns. And I was actually taking them fine. My bo- Everything was correct. My body position, the bike was at a really s- uh, extreme lean angle. I just, and I would have had my knee down if I just tilted my leg out a bit further. That's it. Well, on left hand turns, I just don't tilt my leg out enough. But I'm actually at the same angle as I am on the right hand turns. So when I take the left hand turns, I always feel like I'm not turning as much as I could. But I'm actually wrong. I actually am turning rather extreme. I just uh, need to stick my leg out a little bit more. So by looking at those pictures, I realized that. I realized, oh, my lean angle is extreme and my body positioning is correct. The only thing I'm doing wrong is I'm just not sticking my knee out. That's it, you know? So I'm already doing it right. And by looking at the pictures, I could figure that out. So, yeah, that's just my small tip. If you If you're a... Uh, um, an aggressive rider who's trying to improve, I, I suggest getting some pictures taken of yourself, not so much for, or, or video, uh, and, and not, not, not so much for show-off factor, but specifically because you can look at those and use the information in them to try to improve. Because I found that that's what uh, happened with me. Why? Normally this place is filled with bikes, but recently not so much. I don't know why.